India's Chandrayaan-3 is closer to the moon's surface than ever. Currently, the lander is in an orbit which brings the craft as close as 25 kilometers away from the moon. Meanwhile, Russia's Luna 25 lander has encountered an emergency during a crucial maneuver in its attempt to beat Chandrayaan-3 to the moon. Here's what has been happening in this renewed space race to the lunar surface. Now, the latest maneuver to bring the craft to its final orbit was done at 2 a.m. Indian Standard Time on Sunday. This is the second and final deep boosting of the Vikram lander. Now, the lander is to test its instruments and its sensors. In the next three days, the lander craft will go over these tests on various onboard instruments and sensors. The much-anticipated lunar landing is slated to happen on Wednesday. And of course, the entire world is waiting and watching. The Indian Space Research Organization said that the spacecraft will land on the moon using a powered descent maneuver. The time of the landing has also been declared by ISRO and Chandrayaan-3 will touch down on the lunar surface at 5.45 p.m. Indian Standard Time. And now, here's what is happening with Russia's Luna 25 lander, which launched on the 10th of August and rapidly caught up with Chandrayaan-3. The Russian space agency Roscosmos said that the probe encountered an emergency prior to its moon landing. During an orbit transfer, an emergency situation occurred on board the automatic station. This emergency did not allow the carrying out of its thrust maneuver within specified conditions. Now, Luna 25's trajectory allowed it to surpass the Indian Space Research Organization's Chandrayaan-3 lunar lander, which launched in mid of July. Both the spacecraft aimed to land near the lunar south pole. All right. For more on this, we're being joined by our senior correspondent, Siddharth MP, who joins us from Chennai. Siddharth has in-depth knowledge about ISRO's Chandrayaan-3 mission and, of course, Luna 25, which is also on its way. Siddharth, always a pleasure to talk to you on this subject. Uh, let's start with this. What has been the difference in approach between Russia's Luna 25 and Chandrayaan-3? Because a similar maneuver of this kind where Russia has encountered some kind of an issue is one which India just completed successfully. So tell us what's the difference and where has Russia encountered the problem? Good morning, Shivan. So let me start by telling you that uh, India is actually building on a legacy of two Chandrayaan missions that it has done over the last decade and a half. 2008 was when India completed its first Chandrayaan mission. That was, of course, to orbit the moon. That was a success. Then in 2019, India did Chandrayaan 2. Chandrayaan 2 was meant to both orbit the moon and thereafter soft land on the moon. So orbiting the moon, yes, that orbiter is functional even today. But in terms of lunar landing, Chandrayaan 2 fell short, barely two kilometers above the lunar surface. India lost contact and later learned that Chandrayaan 2 had crash landed owing to a chain of errors that had taken place due to software, hardware and sensor related issues. But let's tell you this thing that as far as Chandrayaan 3 is concerned, ISRO has learned several lessons from Chandrayaan 2 and that is the robustness that has been put into this new craft that is just attempting lunar landing in three days from now. So both the Indian craft and the Russian craft are to perform a maneuver which is like the final steps. So to take a very simple analogy, before diving into a swimming pool, let's say that a swimmer sort of steps onto that diving board and stands at the edge of the diving board. That is essentially the simple means of explaining the step that this particular craft is in right now. As far as Chandrayaan-3 is concerned, it's in its final orbit, which is 25 kilometers at its closest approach to the moon and 134 kilometers at its farthest approach. So next, when ISRO deems fit, it will actually have to uh, deboost the craft. Of course, it's not just deboosting, but it's also uh, powered descent, which means that it won't be free falling. Uh, it will actually have to fire its engines. It will be dragged by lunar gravity, but not just being dragged uncontrolled, but it will have to, you know, fall in a controlled manner and then it will have to hover like a helicopter and then come land. So this is the stage that is laying ahead for Chandrayaan-3. So ISRO's uh, mission of course now is on track but Luna 25 encountered trouble at this point where you know it had to deboost. So Chandrayaan completed its deboost but even before that Luna ran into trouble. So what we don't know about the Russian mission there's a lot of uncertainty because it said it didn't happen within the specified parameters but did it happen above, did it happen below, what is the current status of 
of the craft what is the status of the communication with the craft is it operational is it in orbit these are questions that remain and we'll have to wait for the russian agency roscosmos to come out with a clean statement explaining because so far russia has just said that you know the relevant teams are working on the situation which clearly shows that there is an emergency and uh, go, uh, you know the way things are going we can say that there is a setback in the russian mission we'll have to wait uh, you know for a couple of more hours to see if russia updates their statement and whether russia will indeed be able to land well before chandrayaan 2 chandrayaan 3 as they envisioned perhaps on august 21st or august 22nd shivan so that you pretty much summed up everything I wanted to know from you. But uh, again, as you said, that we can't declare Russia's Luna 25 any kind of a failure yet. We need to wait for more updates coming in from the Russian side. They have encountered some problem, but they're still very much on course to landing towards the moon. Thank you for joining in, as always, with all your deep insights on this. That was Siddharth MP, our senior correspondent, joining us from Chennai.